What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to be going over all the recent news for Destiny 2 in the run up to E3 of course, which is happening next week so only a few days away now and I'll be summarising all the bits of info that's been released just before the event, so the schedules of what's going down where and when, also what to look out for, there's a couple new images that Bungie revealed and of course all of their announcements too. So firstly, I said in a recent video to basically expect a beta date and also for the PlayStation exclusive content to be revealed from E3 itself, but now Activision have actually officially confirmed that those things will be at this event and they're going to be unveiled. So not a big surprise to be honest, like I said, it's the only place they would reveal this sort of stuff. But now it's actually official info from Activision. The PlayStation conference is going to be the one to look out for in terms of Destiny 2 announcements at least. And Sony are going to be unveiling exactly the date for the open beta. And of course talking about their exclusive stuff, whatever that turns out to be. So the actual timings for this Sony conference and the presentation that's going to be live streamed, of course, that you can watch at home. That's going to be on the Tuesday, so 6 p.m. Pacific time, which is local in L.A., which is the same as 9 p.m. on the East Coast or 2 a.m. if you're in the U.K. And those are the timings. A bunch of the other conferences and events have been like switched around for E3, but this time around the Sony is actually the same time. So, yes, yeah, a bit late, but 6 p.m. Pacific is when to look out for. And if you won't be able to tune in yourself, then don't worry. Of course, I'll have content on my channel covering it in full while I'm out there in L.A., so if you want the usual roundups of info, then stop by the channel on Tuesday and I'll have you guys covered, as well as some more Destiny 2 gameplay that I'll be capturing out there as well. So the next quick thing is that Bungie released two brand new screenshots for the game that have never been shown off before. The first one is of the European Dead Zone, or at least a section of it. And they said in New Worlds of Destiny 2, you'll find adventures which are side quests you can level up, earn loot and also meet new characters in. And looking at this shot kind of reminds me of the Last of Us game for some reason. I guess it's that kind of like gloomy, overgrown vibe to it. And it's also, of course, very similar to the two Crucible maps being Memento and Widow's Court because they're both set in the European Dead Zone. And there's also this shot which came out today, which I'm pretty sure is from the Homecoming mission when Amanda Holiday comes to pick you up and flies you to Gary's ship. But yeah, very emotional shot there with the Titan stood there by himself in the rain. So something Bungie announced in their recent blog post was that they said they're going to be announcing all the questions that have been asked since the gameplay reveal event. And that's actually really good news to hear because there's definitely a ton of info and a ton of questions we've had for them. So it seems like E3 is going to be less about like gameplay being shown off and new presentations and keynotes and probably a lot more about interviews. I would expect an absolute ton of info to come out from interviews and basically things from gaming articles. And that's probably where the bulk of info is going to come from. I mean, from the reveal event, there was quite a lot of interviews and a lot of kind of bits of info that came Came from different places so it seems like e3 is going to be even more of that instead of the gameplay is going to be shown off so hopefully some really cool stuff comes out some good bits of info but of course i'll be covering it all on this channel so bungie also went into detail on how the actual setup for e3 is going to be going down and for the first time ever there's going to be three separate booths so ps4 pros at the activision booth running the strike and crucible i believe and also the arc strider the new subclass playable for the first time and then there's the PlayStation booth, which also, of course, has PS4 Pros. And I believe it's similar content, if not the same as the Activision one. And then the third booth is the NVIDIA booth, which has Destiny 2 again playable. But this time, of course, on PC, running on the 1080 Ti graphics cards. And I'll be capturing gameplay from that booth as well, bringing you guys some more footage. So it's a very new setup for E3. Destiny's always been at, like, one booth or the other, like Activision or PlayStation. But this time around, there's going to be three different places you can go and play it, which is actually a lot better than one massive queue at one area. So I'd expect the lines to be much shorter seeing as it's all spread out now. So definitely a good thing for anyone actually going to the event. The next thing Bungie announced is definitely a strange one, but Pete Parsons, who is the CEO of Bungie, he's going to be doing a panel at E3 hosted by the WWE wrestler The Big Show, who apparently plays a lot of Destiny, he's a big fan of the game. So a WWE wrestler and the CEO of Bungie talking about Destiny 2, and that's going down on the Tuesday at midday. And then after that, Bungie also announced that they're going to be going to PAX, which they did for the first time last year, but it's PAX West, which is in Seattle, so very close to the studio. And the event is the 1st until the 4th of September, so only a few days before Destiny 2 actually launches. And they said they're going to have an entire building there just for Destiny 2, so not just a booth, but an entire building at the PAX event, like their own theatre, so pretty similar to the reveal event last month. Obviously, it'll also be playable there, so they'll have their own merch and panels and usual stuff, plus whatever surprises they've got planned, so... Anyone with a normal ticket to packs can also go to the theatre and play Destiny 2 just before it launches on September 8th. 
And now the final thing I want to talk about is that I'll be attending a Guardian Con later this month in Tampa, Florida. So I'm sure most of you guys already know what it is, but it's a huge convention and a meetup of the Destiny community. Basically all the YouTubers and Twitch streamers that you watch will be going. And I know a lot of you have been asking me in the comments and on Twitter if I'll be going. And the answer is yes, I will be there. I'm a featured content creator, so I'll be on panels and doing meet and greets. So basically trying to meet as many of you guys as possible. Definitely come say hi if you see me. And if this is the first time you're hearing about the event, then definitely consider coming over. And the best part is that all of it is for charity. So 100% of the money goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And over $500,000 was raised last year just from the Destiny community, which is pretty crazy to think of. So this year is going to be way bigger. Really looking forward to it. And I'm also going to be taking part in the week-long charity stream, which runs up until the event. So myself, my name is Bife, and more console. We're going to be on stream on the 28th of this month, trying to raise even more money just before Guardian Con. So it's going to be really cool. I can't wait to hopefully see as many of you guys as possible in the stream and also at Guardian Con. But yeah, that just about does it for this video. Talking about all the latest news and everything going on with Bungie 43. Of course, like I said, next week there's going to be a ton of stuff coming out. Not as much like new gameplay and like new stuff showing off. But definitely a lot of information coming from interviews. So stay tuned right here. I'll of course be covering all the channel. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.